woman in baseball. What's up with that? Oh, I, uh, <clears throat> that's the trigger alarm. I seem to have set it off. Installed this bad boy yesterday for this episode. Didn't take long, huh? Camera guys, my name is Welcome, and today you're gonna find out that women are metal as f***. Oh, dang it! True story, I got grazed in the chin in an inner squad in college, and it put me out for a couple of days. This girl eats fastballs. Literally. National Women's Month just passed and I've been eagerly awaiting this episode because it's literally the only subject on the show that I'm going to talk about that I know zero about. Cause I ain't no I was gonna say woman, okay? Woman. But here's what I do know. One, women want to be taken as seriously as men when it comes to baseball stuff. Two, men hate losing to girls. And three, dudes love a good looking girl doing baseball stuff. Thought it was over but I'm back again. They tried to hold me down and back me in. Okay, first off, there's no way that was 92 off the bat. Secondly, this video blew up all over Instagram, reposted everywhere. And it's a witty video, don't get me wrong. Except you switch the genders, keep everything else the same, and it's getting no love on the internet. Watch me do the exact same thing, except on Super Smash Bros. in that last video and I, I swear it'll get no love on MLB Cut 4. We'll see this Saturday. <laughs> but before you go assuming that I can't do that in real life, here's a video of me doing a backflip and here's a video of me hitting a ball. Okay? I just got the switch, so sue me. I didn't want to do it. Look, the scales are lopsided, but I, I don't have a problem with that. However, I think you can make the argument that some feminists do have a problem with that. Which leads me back to item number one that I do know. Women want to be taken seriously, but like who doesn't? Dudes, here's a perfect example of what I mean. When you see this, what are you thinking? Doing the Jose Bautista bat flip. Oh yeah! <laughs> If a dude was doing this, you're thinking, that's a pretty decent Jose Bautista impression. Oh, yeah. But hold the phone. Wait, no, this is a girl, all right? Newsflash, you're watching your wife right now. She doesn't even know it yet. <laughs> to help prove my point, let's peep the comments. Peep the comments. Wifey material. The poor woman is trying to entertain the world with an impersonation. And now she's just getting proposed by a bunch of random strangers. Must be her lucky day. That didn't set it off, really? Okay. Moving on. If she's under 18 years old, this post would make you a pedophile. Just saying. Good point here. You never really know these days. There's a specific look where the age could be either 14 to 23 and it's just a roll of the dice. Okay, really? Ugh, who TF cares? She hit a wiffle ball. Yo, I'd be impressed when a chick hits a ball 450 feet off a dude throwing 99 miles per hour. Sir, can you hit a ball 450 feet? Let alone even come close to sniffing a 99 mile per hour fastball. I don't think so. She ain't a top prospect, homie. She's just doing an impersonation. Oh, yeah. A woman who rakes is cool. If she throws BP, that's wifey material. So to make this whole thing come full circle, I think women want to get to the point where men don't see them as this. I wanna see you like that. Yeah. More like this. But men want this. Because they're afraid of this. The third strikeout through the first five batters for Victoria Lowe. Pitch swung on and driven high, deep, and forget it. That ball is long gone into the parking lot for Jordan Seneca. That is an absolute nuclear blast. Holy smokes. When the camera's done seeing the ball out of the stadium, you're touching first base. <laughs> you wanna get the high five from the first base coach on camera. But then again, I could be easily wrong about all of this. Which is why I asked Danny from Danny's Dugout to sit down and chat a little ball with your boy. What was wrong with that one? One and only, Danny from Danny's Dugout. How you doing, Danny? What's up? What's up? Look, I'm at a Yankee game. I'm very excited right now. We got ourselves a die-hard fan right here. Look at her. Not only taking some time out of the day to do an interview, but she's at the Yankee game as we speak. Tell me a little bit about uh, your love for baseball, where this originated and everything. So basically, when it comes to me and my love for the Yankees, it comes from my family. I have been diehard Yankee fans from that I, from that I can remember till now, and my grandfather is the biggest reason of why I'm a Yankee fan. 
I walked into his office and it was just Yankee memorabilia all over the entire office. I mean, it's hard not to be a Yankee fan when you're surrounded by it growing up and stuff like that. That way, I can't blame you, is what I'm trying to say for being the Yankee fan. How are you feeling right now that you lost not only Giancarlo Stanton, but then Miguel and Duhar, and now Troy Tulowitzki? There's a piece of me that, look, I will blame Larry Rothschild until I'm blue in the face, but I will blame coaches until I'm blue in the face, but when we have this many players that are hurt, there has to be a problem when it comes to trainers. What the hell are they doing for our guys to make it this bad? Yeah, I mean, it seemed like they're dropping like flies. They are! It's the beginning of the season. What are you making them do? And Duhar is a big loss. He might be out for the whole year. Yeah. I think he's out for the whole year. Okay, there you go. So you have a little insight on it. I've never had that injury. I just read. That's all I do. I just read stuff in 15 months. I'm like, dang, dude, that sucks. Do you think a woman will make the MLB? And if you do, when and what position is she playing? I could never tell you when. I could never tell you when because I never want to be wrong. <laughs> but I pray that it is a woman who is a pitcher. We cannot throw a fastball as fast as a man can. Biologically, we cannot do this. We can throw a curveball just as well as you can, and we can throw a curveball more times than you can before we have to get Tommy John surgery or something else happens. Really? Because there's less strain? Because of more flexibility in a woman's arm. Oh, dang, I didn't even think about that. Do you have any words of encouragement for women out there looking to get in the game of baseball, whether it's doing what you do as like a fan slash podcaster or playing it? What do you got? I am all about the females loving baseball. I am all about females working within baseball. I want more of this to happen and more of this to continue. But when it comes to women working in baseball, we have to stand up to a point of being able, I'm not going to play the politics in baseball. Because I had to do this recently. Recently, I was asked by Yes Network to do interviews, to do the like Meredith job. And I'm like, no, I refuse. I was like, thank you. So much. It's been like a dream come true to have this as a job. But I refuse to do this because I do not want to play Yankee politics. I don't want to sit there and be like, oh, well, this guy did a great job today, but at the end of the day, he sucks. So if women are able to do what it is that they are told, which is not a quote unquote feministic view or whatever, the thing is. I don't really don't know. I'm not a feminist. Great. People who are not fans, they don't understand why people like it because they don't understand the game of pitching and like no. the nuance. Exactly. I got a full on Danny rant and I am stoked about it. Where can we find you at? Where are you at on social media? Where can I find some more of this Danny rant? Don't get too specific because there's probably a lot of New York guys right now that are just drooling. So if you want to follow me, you can definitely go to my website, which is dannysuckout.com. Okay. You can go to I'll put that I'll put that in the lower third Danny thanks so much for coming on the show and go Red Sox I mean oh Yankees <laughs> before I end this video I want to thank Natalie for this baseballism swag if you want to see your product on this show DM me on Instagram baseball bro and we could work something all right let me try something here Feminism is, oh, okay, it didn't even let me finish my sentence.